Assalamu alaikum. Let's continue our lesson today with module 4. Let's play. Okay. Today we are going to use Yes, she is. No, she isn't. As well as Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Let us review to this objective. Okay. Firstly, you will learn to talk about things which are about to happen. Okay. Kamu akan belajar macam mana nak Bercerita tentang kejadian yang akan berlaku sekejap lagi. Okay, secondly, you will match four questions with the answers correctly. Okay, so for today's lesson, you can refer to your student's book, page 42, and your workbook, page 33. Let's read first, okay? Okay, look at this yellow box. In your textbook, page 42. Okay, so let's read first. Okay, so the first one is Is he going to watch TV? Okay, we use is for he and she. Okay, so is he going to watch TV? So the answer should be like this. Yes, he is or no, he isn't. Okay. What about she? Okay. Is she going to watch TV? Okay. If the answer is correct, then you say, yes, she is or no, she isn't. Okay. What about this one? You and they. Okay. For you and they, the B to be used is R. Okay, we use R with you and they. Okay, let's read. Are you going to swim? Okay, yes, we are or no, we aren't. Okay, if the question asking about you, your answer can be we or I. Okay, up to you. Depends on the situation. Okay, are they going to swim? Are they going to swim? Okay, yes, they are or no, they aren't. Okay, look at this activity, okay? It's your task one and I want you to write this in your writing book. Okay, let's read first. Okay, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Is he going to swim? Yes, he is. It's Grace. Okay, this one. Yes, that's right. Okay, maybe you can play this with someone around you. Okay, you try to guess which one. Okay, but for today, I want you to do the writing activity. Okay, for example, like this. I want you to ask a questions about each picture. For example, number one. Is Chris going to swim? Okay, refer to the first picture. Okay. So you choose a verb here. Okay, up to you. Okay. For example, the first one. Is Chris going to swim? Yes or no? Okay. If yes, you say, yes, he is. Okay, I want you to use the pronouns here. Okay. For, for the question, use the name. And for the answer, use the pronouns. Okay. So look at the second picture here. Okay. Is Dan going to buy flowers? Okay, we choose this word. Buy flowers. Okay. So, yes or no? Yes, he is. Okay. Dan is a boy, then we use he. Yes, he is. Okay, what about number three? Okay, Beth. Okay. Is Beth going to watch TV? Up to you. It's up to you. If you are, if you are going to ask questions about the wrong verb, then your answer should be no. Okay? You can choose any verb here. Okay. So if the question like this, is Beth going to watch TV? Then the answer should be no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Then how do you clarify it? She's going to make a salad. Okay? No, she isn't. She's going to make a salad. Okay, now, I want you to 
continue asking about the other picture. Okay, you copy number one, two, and three, and then you continue for number four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so you will have nine questions and answers. Okay, so do your best. Good luck. Okay. For task 2, please complete your workbook page 33. Okay, to answer activity 1, okay, listen and tick. Okay, look at number 1. Where is Tom going to go tomorrow? Okay, listen carefully and tick. Okay, get ready. Get ready with your pencil to tick. Okay. Tom, what are you going to do tomorrow? Are you going to go to the park? No. I'm going to go to the music festival. Oh, are you going to go with your family? Yes, I'm going to go with my sister. Okay, done number one. Now number two. What is Tom going to do at the music festival? I'm very excited. The music festival is going to be a lot of fun. Are you going to dance? No, I don't like dancing. I'm just going to listen to the music. Is your sister going to dance there? Oh yes, Molly loves to dance. Okay, done number two, now number three. What is Mary going to do tomorrow? Mary, are you going to come to the music festival? No, I can't. My cousin is going to visit me tomorrow. What are you guys going to do? We are going to watch a film. At home? No, we are going to go to the cinema. Done. Number four. What is Tom going to do on Saturday? Is your cousin going to stay with you for the whole weekend? Yes, yeah, she is. Let's all do something together on Saturday. What do you think? That's a great idea. Let's all go to the shopping center. I'm going to go to the shopping center today. Why don't we go to the beach? My cousin loves swimming. Let's go to the beach. Okay, take the correct answer. Okay, it's your activity too. Okay, you have to match the question with the answer. Okay, read first. Are you going to have a party on your birthday? Okay, you just match. Okay. So to match this, you have to identify the subject. Okay, identify the subject so that you can match the question to the correct answer. Okay, so do your best. So it's the end of our lesson. Hopefully by now, you can talk about things which are about to happen and you can match four questions with the answers correctly. Okay, so take your time to answer all the tasks given correctly. Okay, see you in the next lesson. Bye.